everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Solo Wargaming Show. So today we are going to look at a box of plastic miniatures from Modifius for their uh, Elder Scrolls Call to Arms game. Now, I do not own this game. This is the only uh, miniatures I have from the game. And I actually bought these second hand at uh, something called a... Um, Something called a half price bookstore, which we have out here in Texas. I know they don't have them everywhere, so that's why I just wanted to tell you what it is. But I am somewhat familiar with Elder Scrolls. I've never played the game. I am assuming it is a video game. I've never played the game, uh, so I don't know any of the lore or anything. Now, they say these are 32 millimeter high scale miniatures. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at the plastic sprues. We're going to take a look at the miniatures assembled. And then we're going to take a look at their scale and how they compare to other miniatures. So this is all you get in the box. One sprue. Which I think is enough, I'm assuming, to make... What is that? Five miniatures? Uh... So it's not, these are not, uh, from what I can tell, they're not interchangeable or customizable. You just, you need to assemble the miniatures as they are. But uh, we will do that and I will tell you how that works out, but we haven't got there yet. I'm just kind of giving you a look at what you get on the sprues. I mean, because you may be able to use them elsewhere if you have other collections from this set. Uh, you know, maybe you want to look and see if you can swap things out. There is a kind of a guide to putting these together. Uh, that shows two, three, four, and five. So there's about a dozen pieces to every one, which is, I think that's a little more than usual uh, for people who assemble these and, you know, don't necessarily look forward to it. But, I mean, it's not as bad as uh, some. So, I'm going to put these together, and then I will show you what they look like assembled. So, we are back, guys, and I have gotten all five of them assembled. Took me, I would say, about 30, 35 minutes. Uh, I will say the assembly... It's not difficult, it is a bit fiddly. Uh, I did apply crazy glue in certain places. You can use uh, plastic cement, but I would recommend applying crazy glue. I did swap their bases out, because I thought that might take a little bit of the height off of them. So we will take a look at them, see if we can get a better view. So this is one uh, I'd have to look on the box to tell you what he is or who he is. They are all from the Plastic Imperial faction. So we can see here. Yeah. So you, there should be, hmm, it doesn't say. So one Hadvar hero, one Imperial mage, three Imperial soldiers with sword and shield. So, uh, well, all of them have sword and shields. So I'm assuming this is Hadvar. He looks like the hero, as you can see. I do like the poses they were able to get, and that is one of the reasons I think some of them are fitly because some of the elbows and the knees and things like that I could see where they needed to sculpt them a certain way uh, in order to get into the get the poses that they were able to get uh, now I think two of these are female actually and the only way I can tell is it appears that females have different armor so if you see the men the males have these large kind of shoulder epaulets 
Whereas the female figures, if we can get this one, theirs are kind of narrow and go right down uh, over their chest or right down as if they're going descending into their chest. So for example, I think this one is a female. Just because of the way the epaulets are thinner and the way the armor is, is uh, more narrow. So I think you get two females, one of which obviously is the mage, and then you get uh, the hero, and he has his own armor all together. You know, it almost looks like some kind of metal half disc in his armor. Now, to give you a size comparison, I will spread these out. I have a Wiz Kids miniature, that's kind of the standard nowadays, and then a metal miniature from a company called Forger Doom, which is not necessarily in business anymore, but I just grabbed what I could get. And that is the scale. Now, I said they are supposed to be 32 millimeter. The Wiz Kids are supposed to be 28 millimeter. And as you can see, this elf is actually. Wiz Kids Elf is actually taller, taller than some of the common uh, soldiers for this range, and actually probably a bit taller than even the hero. So, I'm not saying they're not 32 millimeter, uh, but I think they they are compatible with any 28 to 30 millimeter figures that you have. Now, obviously, if they had those larger bases, which had more of a lip on the bottom, then uh, they would they might stand two millimeters taller because that lip is about two millimeters high up. But you get five of them, uh, and like I said, I I mean I I I assembled these five. I would say I was about tired of putting them together after the fifth one. So that was kind of perfect because by the time I did the fifth one, I really didn't want to do anymore. And I'm also a little concerned that if you, if they fall off the table or anything like that, you know, an arm or a knee might pop apart. But, you know, I did reinforce most of the areas with crazy glue that I thought would do that. Uh... But other than that, I think they're, they're definitely some nice figures. There is a lot of detail in this plastic to be plastic figures. Uh, and there's some definitely some interesting poses. This box, I think, was $17, $16. I think normally they're about $20 to $25. But I think I've seen them on eBay for like $18 a box, depending on the one you might be interested in. So that is the Elder Scrolls Call to Arms by Modifius. Take care, everybody, and God bless. Mm -hmm.